This is O Deer, a multiplayer game where one player plays as a hunter and up to four others play as deer. In this world, when a deer gets hungry and needs to run, they get up on their hind legs and book it. But with highly advanced AI scattered throughout the entire map, the hunter's job becomes way harder. Smart players blend in, and dumb players, well, you know how that went. If you're new here, welcome to Cozy Cabin Studios. My name is Mason, this is Andrew, and we make video games. In the past week, we've posted a couple clips of our game, and there's one thing that you guys kept mentioning. The main issue that was brought up is how there was zero punishment for the hunter shooting an AI deer. After reading your comments, you guys had a lot of ideas, but me and Mason came up with a brilliant one. We decided that going for more of an uncanny concept would make the game more unique, so we decided to give the hunter a sanity bar. This makes it so every time the hunter shoots the wrong deer, he loses a bit of his sanity, and the game becomes more corrupted. As soon as the match starts, the hunter only has a few minutes before his sanity starts to slowly drain. The only way to increase it is by hunting the player deer on the map. This definitely balances the flow of the game, emphasizing the importance for the deer to play as a team and for the hunter to get as many kills as he can. There was also a lot of comments mentioning how limiting the arrows could be a good solution, but we figured that players with bad aim would be heavily punished with a limited ammo amount. I actually just cannot. Why am I still mad at this? You ducked! Since the hunter can only hold a max of three arrows, adding the sanity bar was the perfect solution, but never let it hit zero. This puts a lot of pressure on the hunter and allows for some epic close calls. Oh, oh, no. 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 With the hunter balanced, let me show you how we made playing as a deer feel way more intense. In our last video, playing as a deer was kind of boring because all you were able to do was walk around, run, and eat mushrooms to maintain your hunger. And see this? Yeah. This was completely automatic, making it very easy to blend in. But not anymore. Let me introduce you to Munchin. Instead of eating grass automatically, players now have the ability to eat grass whenever they feel like it. This mechanic allows players to slow down their hunger by, well, you know, Munchin. This means as a deer, you'll have to find the perfect balance of Munchin to slow down your hunger and eating mushrooms to fill it up. This also adds a few more playstyles like bush camping, and speaking from experience, it's pretty powerful. So, to incentivize eating more mushrooms, the hunter now gets pinged whenever you eat one adding a little more strategy to the game. Taking a step back, we thought the game was getting a little too sweaty, and we also realized, what's a game without movement tech? So, to lighten up the mood, we added a fart. This mechanic launches the deer forward in the direction you're facing. So, if you ever feel like you're in danger, just let one rip. The way we made it was pretty simple. I opened up Blender and moved the deer into a farting pose. <laughs> That's perfect, bro. Then, once Andrew imported it, he added some fart spray. I still can't believe you made this. The fart is a powerful mechanic, so we decided to give it a 5 second cooldown. Because if we didn't, yeah. The last mechanic we added for the deer is a simple scan. It scans the nearby area outlining any mushrooms and even the hunter. So if you can't find any food, just use your common deer sense. If you came from our previous video, you might have noticed the map looks a little different. As promised, I cooked. I completely deleted our first map, and then spent the next 5 hours of my life creating this masterpiece. I wanted to make the map more memorable, in the sense that no matter where you are, you'll always be able to find your way around. I achieved this by scattering landmarks around the map, like runes, a river, a pier, and even this dead guy. I also raised all of the trees a bit to improve visibility throughout the entire map, but to break it up, I added these rocks and bushes so players can hide and play around them. Along with the bushes, I also placed all of the spawns. Remember, the cabin spawns are where the hunter and deer can start, the food spawns are where the deer can eat, and the AI spawns are where the AI can be when the match starts. All of the spawn points have a random chance to activate, giving variety to each match. Since hearing is a useful way to track down player deer, one of my favorite features is the river cutting the map in half. This makes it much harder for the hunter to camp in the middle of the map due to the noise that the river makes. And it also just looks and sounds amazing. Because Andrew focuses on the coding side of things, it's my job to take care of all the visuals for the game, including the UI. Since our game is supposed to be funny and lighthearted, I came up with this playful looking HUD for both roles. Starting with the deer HUD, I placed the hunger bar on the bottom left and the abilities on the right. I also put the hunter's sanity at the top of the screen, which replaced the clock. Switching over to the hunter's HUD, the sanity and abilities are placed in the same spot, which adds some consistency. But because the hunter doesn't have a hunger bar, I replaced it with this guy. 
You can see how many arrows you're holding, and you'll see when you get your next one. Oh that's my deep. gosh! Oh that's deep. my gosh, bro! That was a deep shot. Our overall goal for the HUD was to make something that doesn't take up too much screen space while still giving you all the information you need. Other than the HUD, we also added some in-game UI elements. The first and most important one, name tags. I feel like these are essential in any multiplayer game, so you know who to mess with. For the deer, we added this pop-up above the mushrooms so you know when you're in eating range. Then when you eat and the hunter gets pinged, we added this marker above his head to let you know how far away he is. We also added a marker like this for your trail cams when you're the hunter. If you like the game idea, adding it to your wishlist is the best way to support us. We've already gotten about 4,000 wishlists in the first week, which is absolutely insane. So thank you so much. You guys have also been giving us a bunch of ideas and suggestions and we love it. So keep them coming. Other than that, you can find links to all of our socials in the description, including our Discord server and Patreon page. Once again, thank you guys for all the support and staying till the very end. Later. Dude, no. No. Oh, I'm out. Get to the cabin. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What does this do? <laughs> what the... Wait, did you just... Oh, wait! Was I running from him then? Oh my gosh! <laughs>